Hey guys, what's crack -a -lacking again? We have this one, it is from Belgium, Montaigu in Belgium. It's top secret, I think, this brewery. <laughs> we don't actually know who has brewed it, but it is called Drunk Monk Series, number three. And it's really special because it's really limited to 1000. You can see is uh, limited, this one, the third um, batch is limited to 1000 beers. Ooh, yeah. So this is number 481, like you can see. It comes in at 7% ABV, this beer and uh, 33 IBUs, it is also on the bottle and there are like five hops in here so I'm th really thinking it's gonna be hop forward really cool label like you can see the drunk monks so uh, we're gonna crack, the, crack it open it's a big bottle, like you can see, 75 centiliter and it has that pop of crown, like cork we're gonna pop it off if it's possible. Oh, it's moving, yeah. Good start, I hope it doesn't explode in my face <laughs> or something. Uh, it's, it's turning, but it's coming, it's coming. And it feels like plastic, this one. What? Not like a wooden cork. Yes, yes, there it is. Finally, almost. It's happening, guys, yeah. Not even a huge hiss or something like that. Uh -oh. Okay, we're gonna get it into the glass. I wasn't expecting the color, to be honest. I was thinking this one gonna be a blonde one or something. There isn't all, also not much head to it. Oh, no. so, so the Montaigu, the city mm -hmm. is where it is from, if I'm correct, is uh, gonna be like Wallonie, if it's from Belgium, because there is almost no head to it. Like you can see it is like really really micro uh, heads uh, i'm gonna put the bottle here again guys so you can see this awesome label because that's what it is uh okay seven percent abv we're gonna get on the roast first like always cheers guys it doesn't really hop, hop forward it is like artisanal brute i get that medicinal thing to it oh my god i get that rosy toastiness to it i get some dry fruits Maybe some cherries in there. Mm. Um, I think there's gonna be some vanilla or some chocolate, but not overly going to be like a stout or something. It's uh, style-wise a brown. I'm quite sure of that. It doesn't say on the bottle, but uh, now when I smell it and I look at the color, it's gonna be a brown, but it is rather dark for a brown. It might have that ruby red shine to it, but... Um, it's really black if you can see it's really almost dark black special thing but uh, I really like it so we're gonna try it cheers guys it's really dry really dry you get your roasty toastiness you get your spices but it feels like really malty, really earthy, like dry. If you like these things, do buy this. It's really special. There are only 1000 bottles of this, so it's rather special. And now the next one that will come out, the next batch or batches, I don't know how many they brew in one batch, but it will be the four. And then the Drunk Monk series number four. So if you can get a hold of that one, this one is not going to be available anymore it might be but i really don't recommend buying it because it's really dry it doesn't have much taste to it they could could use much more vanilla or something or or uh, chocolate in this one cacao nips therefore um the rosy toasting is, is there and i was thinking with these five hops in this one uh, it's gonna be really hop forward it isn't hop forward also you do get your hops, but it feels like metallic. It feels like metallic, dry. You get that rosy toast in it, but still it's it's so dry. It feels like a wine. It's, it feels like a red wine. Therefore, I think there might be red fruits in there. I think in cherries, cherries. Uh, um, those are the things you can get most. The bitterness, okay, 33 IBUs. It's kind of bitter, but that's not the worrying part. The worrying part is that it's not really tasteful. 
There is not much flavor bursting out uh, when you when you taste it. Uh oh. The dryness hangs a long time. Not a bitterness, but no, it's not that pleasant. I'm not gonna give this a high a high rating. So I don't care about the thousands or the limited things or the very expensive ones. I'm just gonna tell you the truth, and the truth is 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 it isn't a good beer at all. Uh, it lacks flavor wise. It could use man, many more ingredients if you ask me. So my personal rating, like always, it's my personal rating. Some guys might like this. I don't really like this. I had much, much better doubles. Uh, and that's the style I think it is presenting or trying to present. It has that cherry thing to it. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about what's beer style. Uh, Abbey beer. So it's an Abbey beer, okay, but there is no just the malt bases are there then your fugels your east Kent golding sas cascade and amarilla hops i told you five hops but it's not really up forward at all 33 ibus and this, then it says the drunk monk series are created by benson g in montague that's all it says it doesn't say a brewery or something it doesn't say anything, just the limited edition 10 thing, uh, the 400, uh, what, is, what was it again? 481 to 1000. So great label. I was expecting much more for, from this beer. Um, I do like the color, but when I saw the head, I was thinking, oh, this is not going to be carbonated and it is really not carbonated. I think there is no carbonation almost going on. And it has a dry finish. It feels like a sherry, like really dry or a cognac, really dry at the end. And it is not infused. It doesn't say anything about being barrel aged or something. It is not barrel aged. It just lacks on ingredients. Like I told you many times before. Now for the rating, I'm going to give this five and a half out of 10. I think that's more than enough. It's one of my lower, lower ratings, but then again, I'm just going to be honest, like I always do in my reviews, and I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna stop it here. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget a beer day is Dr. Ray. Cheers, thanks.